A man walks into a bar and says, g -g 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 Give me a beer. The bartender says, Seems as though you've got a major stuttering problem. The man replies, no, 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 kidding. The bartender says, I used to stutter, but my wife cured me. One afternoon, she gave me or three times in a row, and I haven't stuttered since. The man says, whoa, 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 th th that's great to n -n know. A week later, the same man walks into the bar and says, g -g -g give me a beer. The bartender says, why didn't you try what I told you? I did, did said the man. It j j just didn't w work. But, 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 but I m m must say, you have a r really n nice apartment. <laughs> a man was approached by a co-worker at lunch who invited him out for a few beers after work. The man said that his wife would never go for it, that she didn't allow him to go drinking with the guys after work. The co-worker suggested a way to overcome that problem. When you get home tonight, sneak into the house, slide down under the sheets, gently pull down your wife's panties and give her all Women love it, and believe me, she'll never mention that you were out late with the boys. So the man agreed to try it and went out and enjoyed himself. Late that night, he sneaked into the house, slid down under the sheets, gently slid down his wife's panties and gave her oral. She moaned and groaned with pleasure. But after a little while, he realized he had to take a leak. So he told her he'd be right back. He got out of bed and walked down the hall to the bathroom. When he opened the door and went in, he was very surprised to see his wife sitting on the toilet. How did you get in here? He asked. Shh, she replied. You're like my mother. <laughs> that wife of mine is a liar, said the angry husband to a sympathetic pal seated next to him in a bar. How do you know? The friend asked. She didn't come home last night and when I asked her where she'd been, she said she had spent the night with her sister Shirley. So? The friend replied. So she's a liar. I spent the night with her sister Shirley. <laughs> a couple were having trouble conceiving a child. So they went to a doctor. He examined them and concluded that the problem was one of insufficient penetration. He suggested to the man that they try the rear entry position. The man said, what is that? The doctor replied, just watch the dogs and do like they do. The man said, my wife is very shy and she won't do that. The doctor replied, try giving her a glass of wine or two and she will lose all inhibition. Some while later, the doctor met the man pushing a stroller. I see it worked, the doctor said. Yes, it did, Doc. But now the problem is my wife is an alcoholic. How did that happen? The doctor asked. Well, every time we did it, it took seven or eight drinks just to get her out into the front garden. <laughs> Teenage girl comes home from school and asks her mother, Is it true what Rita just told me? That babies come out of the same place where boys put their... Yes, dear, replies her mother, pleased that the subject has finally come up and she won't have to explain it to her daughter. But when a baby's actually born, responded the teenager, how does it get past your teeth? <laughs> a man was in a terrible car accident and his manhood was mangled and torn from his body. His doctors assured him that modern medicine could give him back his manhood, but that his insurance wouldn't cover the surgery, since it was considered cosmetics. The doctor said the cost would be $3,500 for small, $6,500 for medium, $14,000 for large. The man was sure he would want a medium or large.
much, but the doctor urged him to talk it over with his wife before he made any decision. The man called his wife on the phone and explained their options. The doctor came back into the room and found the man looking dejected. Well, what have the two of you decided? Asked the doctor. The man answered, she'd rather have a new kitchen. <laughs> When Ralph first noticed his was growing longer and stayed erect longer, he was delighted, as was his wife. After several weeks, his penis had grown to 20 inches. Ralph became quite concerned as he was having problems dressing and even walking, so he and his wife went to see a prominent urologist. After an initial examination, the doctor explained to the couple that, though rare, Ralph's condition could be fixed through corrective surgery. How long will Ralph be on crutches? The wife asked anxiously. Crutches? Why would he need crutches? Responded the doctor. Well, said Ralph's wife coldly, you are going to lengthen his legs, aren't you? A young couple are on their way to Vegas to get married. Before getting there, the girl says to the guy that she has a confession to make. The reason that they have not been too intimate is because she's very flat-chested. If he wishes to cancel the wedding, it's okay with her. The guy thinks about it for a while and says he does not mind. That she's flat and this is not the most important thing in a marriage. Several miles down the road, the guy turns to the girl and says that he also wants to make a confession. He says that below his waist, he's just like a baby. If the girl wants to cancel the marriage, it's okay with him. The girl thinks about it for a while and says that she does not mind, and that she also believes there are other things far more important than in the marriage. They are happy that they are honest with each other, and go on to Vegas and get married. On their wedding night, the girl takes off her clothes. She is as flat as a washboard. Finally, the guy takes off his clothes. One glance at the guy's body and the girl faints and falls to the floor. After she regains consciousness, the guy says, I told you before we get married. Why did you still faint? The girl says, you told me it was just like a baby. The guy replies, yes, 8 pounds and 21 inches. <laughs> a woman went to see her psychiatrist. I'm really concerned, she said. The other day I found my daughter and the little boy next door together naked and examining each other's bodies and giggling. The psychiatrist smiled. That's nothing to worry about, it's pretty normal. Well, I don't know, said the woman. It worries me, it worries my daughter's husband too. <laughs> Couple were having trouble conceiving a child, so they went to a doctor. He examined them and concluded that the problem was one of insufficient penetration. He suggested to the man that they try the rear entry position. The man said, what is that? The doctor replied, just watch the dogs and do like they do. The man said, my wife is very shy and she won't do that. The doctor replied, try giving her a glass of wine or two and she will lose all inhibition. Some while later, the doctor met the man pushing a stroller. I see it worked, the doctor said. Yes, it did, Doc. But now the problem is my wife is an alcoholic. How did that happen? The doctor asked. Well, every time we did it, it took seven or eight drinks just to get her out into the front garden. <laughs>